Welcome to my thoughts on The Clearing, Season 1, Episode 5. This episode is called Matreya. So let us dive right into it. So yeah, this is basically the backstory of Matreya. And, you know, the very first thing we see of Ada is, you know, she's, she's in the church and her mother... Yeah, when they leave the church, her mother, Evelyn, sets fire to herself, and Ada smiles, you know, so so right away, and, and, you know, right before that, it's not that she's just, oh, she's always smiling, no, when she realized that her mother, you know, it's, it's embarrassing for her that her mother is standing like that, you know, yeah, the, the, the things she's saying... So when she sees that her mother hurts herself, it makes her smile. So, yeah, right from childhood, she was a very selfish person. And, yeah, we see that she's taking these pills that are later revealed to be... You know, I'm not sure they're what we would usually call birth control pills, but they have that effect, at least. And yeah, she's doing housework for others, and it's a it's a really good detail that the you know the the um yeah I, I do not remember her first name. Mrs. Herzog says you know the sweat stains on this shirt. I wouldn't let my worst enemy near them, but they're okay for Ada. To, to deal with, you know, that's a, yeah, and she doesn't even realize, she's saying it to Ada, you know, so, yeah, basically she thinks of Ada as less than human, and this is sadly true of many, you know, many people think of, you know, whether they're working directly for them, or just, you know, service workers as less than human. And we overhear what is clearly one of many unhappy housewives. And the doctor just prescribes some medication for her. And as soon as she's out of earshot, slight exaggeration, he starts complaining about it. You know, and he says, ah, oh, these rich wives, you know, these rich women who can't stand their husbands, you know, because in his mind, at, at least at that time, you know, he's like, I mean, what what do they want? Their husband is paying for stuff. You know, that he's he's stuck in that you know that way of thinking then, you know. And Mrs. Herzog actually points out, you know, divorce is not legal. She, she doesn't use those exact words, and I don't like seventy-three I, I forget when divorce became legal. Certainly, no fault divorce divorce was not legal at the time. And yeah, you know the the Adrian goes to yoga a couple of times, and the second time, you know, when when the yoga instructor tells her, you know, we can control our destiny. Just imagine something, and it will come to you know she's. Like, basically, what she's describing is the, the concept of manifesting. Which, you know, today a number of people do believe, you know. And it's not, it's one of those things where, like, yeah, if you don't picture what you want and then work for it, you're less likely to get it than if you do. But you can't manifest just anything, you know. It, and it's not just, yeah, it's not just about the focus. But yeah, and, you know, she imagines her husband dead, and later it does happen. Let's see. Yeah, and when he realizes she's been taking the birth control pills, he leaves and not long after dies. And yeah, when, when, <clears throat> when the... Um, yeah, she, yeah, Ada goes to Dr. Herzog, and he talks about 
perceptual control and doesn't believe her when she says that she was able to alter the future and he puts his hand on her leg and then she kind of after that she starts seducing him now at at first I thought oh you know we're dealing with a misogynist trope the the seductress the woman who ruins families and you know but really you know based on the rest of the episode I realize you know ob obviously that is still like a lot of women are, are perceived to be in control of the sexual you know even if the man initiated it even if the woman fought back you know so it's it's ridiculous to but you know there are some women who who do and basically she realized you know she she took advantage of the fact that he was attracted to her and and Evelyn talking to Ada says I wish I never had kids yikes but but yeah she also points out when women speak the truth they're put away and urges Ada to work from the shadows and Ada signs Evelyn to be kept in permanent psychiatric care and burns the clothes and throws away the ring you know yeah taking control of of her life but in this very selfish way and yeah you know she starts dyeing her hair to become Maitreya and meets Dr. Bryce and you know he makes this claim that you know currently we're only able to perceive 25 percent of you know it and it, oh if only we could perceive the last 75 percent and I think this is one of those one of the New Age beliefs, but it's been a while since I looked at New Age stuff. And now Maitreya is the one leading yoga, and you know, bas yeah, basically, she learned this stuff from going from attending yoga. And let's see, then the yeah, we see her meet Hannah one of the yoga and um, we learned that Bryce's wife was Tamsin and yeah this episode is definitely making the claim that Maitreya has some powers you know she she foresaw her husband dying and believes that she caused it and she foresaw the the um both the the sickness and the healing of Tamsin so there's definitely something now you know in in real life I don't believe in that kind of thing but I I'm going to hold off judgment and see where the show goes with it and yes yeah, so, you know in the other episode we heard that Matreya saved Tamsin from this awful husband and now we learn yeah that was that was Bryce you know it's not that they no longer have anything to do with each other you know they're they're no longer together and and to be clear you know if, if two people don't function well together as a couple that doesn't mean that they have to you know cut off all contact but it is very interesting that you know yeah, Maitreya gets credit for, for this when, you know, it's not that she identified, oh, this, this awful, awful man. You know, they do still have some contact with each other. And, yeah, we, the, the um, what's it called? Dr. Herzog gives Maitreya the LSD, which she then starts administering. And yeah, the the um, there's the the bit about you know women have let men control 
uh, you know, our, our destinies for too long. And, you know, that is absolutely true. And, yeah, Hannah brings Henrik to the, the first meeting that Maitreya has for the, the kindred. And, you know, um, Mrs. Herzog is still being a problem for her, so she tells the doctor to get rid of her. And we see Colin, he was called to, um, there was a noise complaint. And Matreya charmed him as well. We see Bryce and Tamsin give Matreya the house that she that we see here we've seen her live in in the other episodes. You know, basically, Mrs. Herzog is a real feminist. Matreya is just taking advantage of the need for feminism. You know, the the women really did not have anywhere near enough rights back then, you know. And, yeah, the, the, I, I believe in reality there were people who took advantage of that, you know, the, the fact that there was a need for, for women to get rights. And, let's, but, but, you know, that, that was, I, I was definitely worried that this would paint the idea of women getting more rights as an inherent negative, but it really is just the fact that Adrienne is being selfish, you know, she's basically, regardless of the situation, you know, if she has to be, a, you know, um, yeah, if she has to become, if she has to be a wife, she'll, she'll do that, but she'll take birth control in secret, which, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with birth control, but if you're with someone that you do not want to have a child with, you should have a conversation with them, although I realize that's easier said than done back then, you know, but nevertheless, you know, the, the, and to be clear, there's nothing selfish about not wanting to have kids, but, but yeah, the, the, um, let's see, so the, yeah, if she has to work for someone else, she will, but she'll, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, that is where she got the, the pills that she used as birth control, isn't it? Like, stole them when they weren't looking or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, she, did she get them from Mrs. Herzog? That might have been, yeah, I think, yeah, that's that's where she got, you know. And then when, you know, when she realizes the power that, you know, this kind of guru can have, well, she fashions herself into a guru. You know, regardless of the situation, She's she's always you know she she adapts to to fit the the surroundings, which you know she's not she's not consistent and she's not selfless, and those are the things that you need if you're going to you know make make people's lives better. You you know yeah. Let's see. See. And yeah, she she talks about the communal raising of kids, which I appreciate that this episode comes after several others because we've already seen the communal raising of kids was not some like they were you know even if the you know it already is she she does mention oh you know we'll we'll control their their needs and we'll we'll ensure discipline you know if you hear that without any kind of context, you know, you might think, well, you know, like, for sure, it is necessary to, to you know, what, what we see on the show is unquestionably child abuse. But it is, you know, if you give, if you try to give kids absolutely everything, that's not going to turn out well either. So the fact that we're only seeing this episode after several of, of the first four, you know, we realize, yeah, what she's talking about is is going to be child abuse. And, yeah, Mrs. Herzog is kicked out of the the church, and, and, and yet again, you know, it's not something that's acknowledged. You know, she doesn't say, you know, yeah, she doesn't say, to, like, to each their own. She says, someone needs a clearing. You know, the, the, um, I'm implying, which is, yeah, 
that's a very clever kind of because Dr. Herzog, every time a woman says there's something wrong here, he gives them pills. And now Matreya is basically doing the same thing. You know, she used to, she wasn't happy with her husband. And, and it seemed like she was maybe, she had a problem with Dr. Herzog having no empathy for women who were unhappy in their marriage. But now she's doing the same thing. You know, she's she's using that same rhetoric. And she's also not really worried about if people are happy or not, just whether or not she can use them. You know, so just, yeah. You know, she, she finds out, oh, Hannah is pregnant. I want kids, but I don't want to, you know, I, I want someone else's kids. So it's, that's also, to be clear, there is absolutely nothing wrong with choosing not to, you know, become pregnant and give birth. I, I, I think it's pretty ridiculous that we, we do. I, I hope that at some point in the future, you know, any woman who doesn't want to go through that doesn't have to, and we can still procreate. But yeah, let's see. And the yeah, Hannah wants to talk to Mrs. H, Mrs. Herzog, you know, and. By the time she she gets to it's it's too late, and yeah, uh, Matreya gets Doctor Herzog to lock up Mrs. Herzog so that when Hannah calls, it's yeah, and Matreya sees the country house for the kids, and and she you know it, it becomes clear to Hannah oh she's gonna take my house and and take the kids and this whole thing you know and Matreya threatens her that you know so so that also does you know we realize the legitimately was there was nowhere else to go and that is sadly the people most devoted to cults are often the ones who have nowhere else to go you know she says my husband will not leave the cult my family want nothing to do with me you know, so Matreya is taking advantage of the fact that this young woman has nothing, she has no other options. And instead of then, you know, in ideally what you'd want to do in that situation is make sure that the situation is as good as possible for these people who need. But instead, she, you know, basically Matreya takes it all for herself. So that she can live in luxury, which, you know, when she was younger, she couldn't. And now she's scammed her way into, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody should live in luxury. I think as, as long as the money can help people who actually need help, like luxury, I think if we at some point in the future reach a situation where no one is, is actually lacking, you know, food, family, shelter, love, when all of that is taken care of, then we can look at the possibility of luxury. But right now, the money that's going to luxury is money that could be going to people who actually need it. And very frequently, like, yeah, basically, if you are rich, you have taken advantage of someone in order to get it. And and we we see at the end you know young amy later freya thinks that matreya is her mother even though you know we do now know for sure no that the the um what's the word that is um hannah is is the the real mother so you know and it's especially devastating she's the one hearing Freya call Matreya mom and and yeah you know that I, I really appreciate that the the yeah I guess it's possible that no one ever did tell Freya or maybe she just didn't accept it you know in in another episode she referred to Adrian as her real mother and, and rejected the idea that her adoptive mother, who clearly loves her, 
and, and has done a lot to take care of her, she said, you're not my real mother. She thinks Matreya is, but Matreya also only adopted her, you know, so, yeah, we're, we're really seeing Adrian, like, right from the start, and all the way through, very, very selfish, you know, she comes from nothing, and instead of taking care of people who currently have nothing, like she used to, she takes it all for herself, you know, so, yeah, um, excellent episode, did I, did I already mention I absolutely love this episode, as with the first four, just, yeah, um, just the, the, yeah, absolutely love the show. That is it for this one, and, yeah, at least one more video, maybe two more videos before, maybe three, before this week is out. So, catch you at some other time.